has increased the number of teachers eligible for the voluntary bonding scheme. Question number nine, Dr Liz Craig. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health and asks, what reports has he received on mental health and addiction? The Honourable Dr David Clark. Mr Speaker, last Wednesday I received the report of the inquiry into mental health and addiction and this morning I released it publicly. The report urges the government to put people at the centre of its approach to mental health and addiction issues. While I'm not here to announce the government's response to the inquiry today, I believe this is an approach that would find favour on both sides of this House. Yeah. Supplementary, why has the government moved so quickly to release the report? The Speaker, there is a huge public interest in these issues. Tens of thousands of people signed petitions calling for an inquiry, and the panel received more than 5,200 submissions. It's important that we keep faith with those people, and by releasing the report within a week of receiving it, we are doing just that. The release of the report will no doubt spark a fresh public conversation about mental health and addictions. I welcome that and in particular look forward to hearing the response to the report's findings from those with lived experience. Supplementary, when will the government formally respond to the inquiry? Speaker, it will take time for us to work through the report and to do justice to its recommendations and to do justice to the voices contained in the report. We've already identified mental health and wellbeing as a priority for the next budget. We'll be working through the detail on that, informed by the report. We're working through the report's 40 recommendations already, and the government will respond formally in March next year. I want to be upfront with the public, though, that while some things can be addressed in relatively short order, many of the issues we are facing, such as workforce shortages, while we're moving on them now, will take many years to fully address. Question number 10, Dr Shane Ritty. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of